Hello everyone and welcome. So great that you're here today with me on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and to mark a sweet ending to the month of February, today's story is called Gingerbread Friends. Did you know that Nuremberg, Germany is considered the gingerbread capital of the world? Today's story has been written and illustrated by Jan Brent. The sassy gingerbread baby lived in a scrumptious gingerbread house in the bedroom of a boy named Maddie. He was happy with the toys and treats that Maddie made for him. Still, something was missing. One day he watched Maddie go off with his friends to ski and to skate, and he knew what it was. I'm the gingerbread baby, happy as can be, until Maddie goes out then it's lonely here for me. I want a friend of my own, the gingerbread baby thought. The next morning, Maddie stayed home, but he was too busy in the kitchen to play. So the gingerbread baby slipped out and headed for the village to look for a friend. The gingerbread baby walked along the lane. He came to a bakery and saw a man and a woman just his size in the window. Maybe they would like to be my friends, he thought. Inside, the gingerbread baby popped up in front of them and sang, I'm the gingerbread baby, peppy as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But the man and the woman just stared straight ahead like statues, eyes wide open. The gingerbread baby saw a sugar cookie girl nearby. He cartwheeled across the marshmallow snow singing, I'm the gingerbread baby, gallant as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But she didn't look at him and she didn't say a word. Next, the gingerbread baby spotted seven white swans swimming on a sugar frosting sea. He leaped toward them and called out in excitement, I'm the gingerbread baby clever as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But the elegant swans didn't even honk a hello. They stayed exactly as they were, stiff and still. The gingerbread baby turned and gazed up at a cake as tall as a mountain with icy ledges and a man and a woman dancing on the top, petticoats and coattails flying. I'm the gingerbread baby, plucky as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But when he reached the top, he saw that they weren't dancing at all. They were as still as stone. The gingerbread baby was about to give up when he saw a door just his size. I'll go in there and think about what to do next, he thought. He slid down the cake and ran inside where he fell sound asleep. Scritchy, scratchy, the gingerbread baby woke up and found himself face to face with a real live mama mouse nibbling on his marshmallow pom-pom. Oh no, he thought, home is the place for me. And he ran out of the bakery with the mouse, the cat, the baker and his wife, not far behind him. As the gingerbread baby raced home on his rooster, the unfriendly creatures chasing him were joined by a red fox who almost caught the gingerbread baby as he flew over the fence and ran into Maddie's house just in time. Tired and sad, the gingerbread baby started to cry. I'm the gingerbread baby, lonely as can be. No one wants to be my friend, as far as I can see. But then he heard some singing, and a trail of cupcakes caught his eye. He climbed the stairs, and you'll never guess what he found. We're gingerbread friends, playful as can be. We'll be friends with you, if you'll be friends with me, and me 
and me. Thank you for joining me for today's sweet story. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. To receive a copy of today's book, please see below in the description for the link. I hope to see you all again soon for another story, and I look forward to that time. Bye for now.